that, guys, welcome to Prenard Crossover. Your host here, Mark. Here, Mark. I hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna have a great episode tonight. And my co-host here on my left, we got James. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Time to talk about sports again. Awesome. And <laughs> over here on my right side, we got our very own. I know you guys know her from her Instagram, Super Fan Mo Official. But for the first time, we get to meet her in person. Introduce yourself. I'm Monique Lawrence. And thank you for having me, you know, for yeah. coming in. I know it's, uh, we had a couple times we tried to get you on the show, and now we finally have you here. Yeah. So you get to show and introduce yourself, and you get to tell us your story. So maybe, James, you can start maybe the questioning and start the first question about so Monique. So basically, when did you start becoming a Raptors fan? And I became a Raptors fan in 1995. It's a long story, but when a couple years before they came out, I had surgery, mm -hmm. and by then, three years before Raptors came out, November 3rd, 1995, and then uh, my brothers, they, they started it, but when I came along, it's like they didn't want nothing to do with basketball. Mm -hmm. It was all on me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So they knew what I was I had a plan, mm -hmm. but it, and when I finished high school, mm -hmm. I uh, I just went straight to the MBA. Wow. I I didn't go to college <laughs> or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, when you what when back in the day, who were the players or who were the player uh, who were the players that you used to watch and enjoyed watching back when you started becoming a fan? Mo Pete. Mo Peterson, right? <laughs> the OG. <laughs> what did you think about the Raptors back in the day compared to what it is now? What did you like about it? I, I liked the dunk mm -hmm. contest with Vince Carter. Mm, and, that's, from, that's really and good. And yeah. That's where and Canada basketball took off because of him, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then everything exploded mm -hmm. from there on, from the Raptors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about, because uh, you have a really nice jacket. Tell us a little bit about this jacket that you have. I want to see, you know, because it's really cool. You told me a little bit about it, so I want to hear a bit more. Yeah. Shout out to Sherman Hamilton and Leo Rounds mm. for sign, signing yeah. my jacket. It looks mm. amazing, yeah. yeah. And you told me that this is one of the very first Raptors jacket that they, apparel that they had, right? Right. Right, that looks amazing. And her shoes, too, yeah. is wrapped. You can tell she's a, she's a diehard fan. Yeah, maybe. she's a diehard <laughs> fan. Um, what have you liked about the Raptors so far? I mean, from watching them from the Vince Carter age to Chris Bosh, now to the Rosen to Kawhi, what have you liked so far about watching the whole kind of growth of the franchise? How Vince Carter left? Yeah. I did not like it because... <laughs> um, People should not leave out like that. Yeah. Grand Grandwall did yeah. did it wrong completely. Yeah. yeah. He should have left out on his own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. No, so was... with uh, your favorite player is Mo Pete, right? Yeah. Can you tell us the experience? Because when I saw your video, <laughs> he got really emotional. Because you you also told people that you were a Mo Pete fan since yeah. college, Michigan State. So. Yeah. So how is the experience of that? <laughs> Through the roof. <laughs> like, once I went moped, yeah. my well, Facebook started to blow up, Instagram wow. started to blow up. Yeah. Was was I expecting it? No. Mm -hmm. Like, I started using Instagram in 2013 of August. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tell and us the, about your page. Like, how did you, what made you start to create your page? Or how did you kind of use your page to post more of your photos? Because we've seen a lot of them. Like, how did you kind of put it together? When I became a season seed holder for the Raptors, I became a, a season seed holder in 2015 of October. Mm -hmm. By then, everything, my life just turned around. I was, in a mm -hmm. good way. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. It just took time. Mm -hmm. I did a GoFundMe page. So, mm -hmm. wow. like, when they reached out to me, and 
<laughs> everything just hey, hey, took everything. off. <laughs> Tell us about the early memories of the first few games that you went to. Like, who are the people that you have met and have taken pictures with? Because you have so many, like, your memorable ones. Tell us about Mm hmm Corey Joseph, Anthony Bennett, mm -hmm. um, Patrick Patterson. Mm -hmm. There's too many. There's too many to me. Um, have you talked to them? Or what are some of the, you know, ones that you remember that you spoke to you? And what are some of the things that they say that you remember that kind of kept you going or that inspired you to? They just said, don't give up on your team. Stand mm -hmm. with your team. And that's what maybe you are an inspiration to all. Mm -hmm. I hope you stay put. And then from there, that's the next plan. I'm staying mm -hmm. put. Mm -hmm. That's the main focus for me. And that's what I plan on doing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I realize you're a die-hard fan, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I also realized that you have a good heart. Um, when Patrick Patterson signed your sh uh, one of the shoes, you gave it to your nephew. So how is it like, like for me, if I'm a player, a basketball player signing the shoes, I'm going to keep it myself. But for you, you just gave it to your nephew, right? Yeah. So how is it like to even just, you know, don't even think about yourself and, and think about your Hopefully nephew? Hopefully I can inspire as many people as I want. Like, I've done so many interviews, and, like, to see, to see them happy for yeah. me, like, my family and stuff like that, to pave the way for many is, like, something I want to do. A spokesman, like, a job or being involved in the community. Yeah. And I guess to, um, to finish off our first mm -hmm. segment of the interview, I want to ask you, as what are some of your advice or um, things that you want to say to uh, others out there in terms of people that have um, that you want to inspire. What are some of the things that you want to tell them? Like with my disability, I have I've always used this quote: "My disability won't stop me, no matter how people look at me and stuff like that." It's like I just keep going with a smile. I have a positive mind and a positive focus to not stand with your team. Mm -hmm. Like, we may fall down, but we, these are the better days to come. Mm 